Hello, this is Shraddha ma'am here. I will be taking history for standard 6 ICSC. Our first chapter in history is Mesopotamian civilization. Let us know the definition of the word civilization before we begin with the chapter. Civilization is the word derived from Latin word civis, meaning citizen. Hence, the settlement of group of humans at one particular place marks a civilization. Here are the features of civilization. You can pause the video and read them one by one. Along with time, man learned about force of nature. He learned about rain, use of fire, sun, growth of plants, etc. Rain taught him about how plants grow with the help of soil, sun and rain. He learned agriculture. Now, there was no need to wander in search of food. Man cultivated crops for himself. For agriculture, he had to stay at one place for a long period of time. This necessity of settling at one place gave birth to permanent settlement. Groups formed villages. Villages formed cities. Growing cities needed to be maintained and governed. Hence, governing bodies, say rulers, came into existence. Laws were made to maintain peace and order. People began to develop skills. Hence, new art forms, inventions, script, writing system were witnessed. During Calcolithic Age or you can say Bronze Age, four civilizations emerged. Indus Valley Civilization in northwestern part of Indian subcontinent, Mesopotamian Civilization on the banks of river Euphrates and Tigris in modern Iraq. Chinese civilization near river Hangwe, Egyptian civilization on the banks of the Nile River in Egypt. Why all these four major civilizations developed on river banks? Rivers assured regular and sufficient supply of water, availability of fertile soil and river also provided as a means of transport for carrying goods from one place to another. Where is Mesopotamia? The large fertile region between the river Tigris and Euphrates is called Mesopotamia. Mesopotamia means the land between rivers. The region is also known as Fertile Crescent. Why is it called Fertile Crescent? We will study. Tigris and Euphrates flow parallel to each other. During floods, rivers overflow and deposit fertile mud on the banks of river. Fertile mud is called silt. This fertile area between two rivers form a crescent shape. So, it is referred as fertile crescent region. Fertile soil enabled farmers to grow surplus grain. Here is the image and you can see the crescent shape of the fertile region. Mesopotamia, the land between rivers. This civilization originated in Sumer. Here, the cities were well developed and advanced. To the northwest of Sumer were Babylon and Akkad, present day Iraq. Northern highlands were named Assyria. What does archaeological sources tell about Mesopotamia? Royal tombs, cylindrical seals, jewelry, and many other items were found from excavation. Daily essentials, favorite items of king or queen were found in the royal tomb at Old City. This suggests that Mesopotamians believed in life after death. Inscriptions on cylindrical seal reveal about socio-religious beliefs of Mesopotamians. Seals also suggest trade relation between India and Mesopotamia. Let us see how the cities were planned in Mesopotamia. City was divided into three parts the sacred area, the walled city, and the outer town. The sacred area or the temple area had a ziggurat dedicated to city's chief god. Each city had their own chief god. Ziggurat was built on a mound or a rectangular structure forming a platform, a base of mud bricks. Platform was 50 feet high. There were multi-story structures decorated with tiles, precious stones and marbles. Ziggurat had smaller temples in it dedicated to other gods. Here is the picture of city. You can see the three division in the picture. 
one is ziggurat area or the sacred area the second is walled city and the third you can see the outer town this is the real picture of ziggurat at the city of ur ziggurat had offices and storehouses observatory school granaries trade centers the buildings in the cities were made of mud bricks the people resided in a walled city these walls were constructed to protect the city from enemy attack houses were built along the streets Every house had a courtyard and rooms around it. The another important architectural structure during Mesopotamian civilization is the Hanging Garden of Babylon. Hanging Garden was built by Babylonian King Nebuchadnezzar II for his queen Amethyst as she missed her homeland, green hills and valleys. Garden was built above the ground on split level stone terrace. It was like terrace garden. That's all for today's session. In the next session, we will be studying about the family life, social life, code of laws by Hammurabi, gods of Mesopotamia, agriculture, trade, art and craft, and reasons for decline of Mesopotamian civilization. Thank you.